Now let's take a different case here. Again, the issue at hand is when you issue shares for non-cash consideration, what are the accounting entries that you do? Just to catch up on the facts, there is a company X which purchased this plant and machinery from Hardy Limited and issues shares as consideration. Now let's say the issue of shares is made at a premium of rupees 20 per share. The face value of the shares is 100. So in this case what has happened is that a share which was valued at 100 has been issued at 100 plus 20. Why? Because there's a premium of 20 rupees. The value of the plant and machinery that it took is 6 lakh. So how many shares will be issued? The number of shares issued is going to be equal to plant and machinery's value divided by the issue price. It is not going to be the face value of the shares in this case. Why? Because the face value of the shares is not the price at which it is being issued. So again, the value of the shares is how much? 600,000. Issue price is how much? 100, which is the face value plus the premium of 20. Or you just simply write this as 600,000 upon 120. This gives you 5,000 shares. So if 5,000 shares are issued, what will be the face value of these shares? 5,000 5, into 100. So you simply add two more zeros here. And what will be the premium? It will be 20 into 5,000. 5,000, which is the number of shares issued into 20. 1 lakh. So what will be the accounting entry? You are receiving plant and machinery, so you debit plant and machinery, debit to share capital, to share premium. Being 5,000 shares issued at a premium of rupees 20 each against purchase of plant and machinery. Right? So what was the difference in this case? The difference in this case was about the number of shares which was issued and the share premium account right